During these weeks, I've been the teacher for the biology and genetics module at summer school. I work at the chemistry department of the uh, University of Milano and uh, I'm the chemistry teacher of the uh, Unimed uh, Summer School. I live in Kansas. I teach at Benedictine College in Atchison, Kansas. Uh, I teach philosophy and also logic. Uh, that's why I'm here. I'm teaching uh, the logical reasoning part of the IMAT test to these students. My suggestion for uh, the students who are preparing uh, to the medical school test is to review the basics of biology and genetics. Be sure you uh, understand the chemistry. Uh, don't uh, try to keep all in mind. Carefully study the pro uh, atomic properties, the electronic configuration, the periodic table and the uh, periodic properties. We reviewed the chemical composition of cells the main characteristics of prokaryotes and eukaryotes and how cells obtain energy with a particular focus on cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Um, the most common question I get from the students is how to solve the logic problems. They're most scared of that and the first thing I tell them is they don't have to be scared of that. The main thing they have to be worried about are the word problems. There's only about three or four maybe of the logic questions in the critical thinking portion. So that's not really where most of the points are. They need to concentrate on getting fast at reading a paragraph and drawing a conclusion, finding the assumption and things like that. During the test, uh, carefully read the, the question and uh, try to give an answer without uh, uh, reading the uh, giving uh, option. Uh, and then uh, choose the correct one. This is the easy way to find the correct answer. Don't be as scared of the logic part of the exam. Be more worried about where you're given a reading and then you have to know what's a conclusion, what's the assumption, what's the weakness in the argument and things like that. Stay calm, even if it may seem very difficult, and to read the questions very well. In fact, even if the questions may seem uh, difficult or impossible at first. The question uh, often contains some hints that can help us to discriminate the wrong options and uh, to give at the end uh, the right answer. The test that we have in the, in the United States that's the most similar to what you find on the IMAT is actually our law exam. It's called the LSAT. And so the book that I recommend for them to study from are the books that prepare you, that prepare Americans to take the, the LSAT exam. And a lot of them don't realize that they think because they know English very well that they can do those questions and that's not true. And so they need to learn that skill even if they know the language very well already. 